Hello learners, we are discussing about the trigonometric functions and we have discussed about the how to use the formula of trigonometric function in different, we can say different to solve the different problems. Right now we will be discuss about inverse trigonometric function. When talking about inverse trigonometric function, we first understand also we must have to uh, remember that the what is the formula of inverse trigonometric function. The first formula is I can write derivative of I can say sin inverse x, sin inverse x which is equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. Okay. And I can say derivative of cos inverse x, cos inverse x which is equal to minus 1, 1 minus x square ka square root. And third formula that is derivative of I can say 10 inverse x which is equal to I can say 1 by 1 plus x square. And when I talking about derivative of cot inverse x which is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x square. This is the 4, four we can say inverse trigonometric function sin inverse x which equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus x square and I can say cos inverse x which equal to minus 1 by 1 minus x square square root and 10 inverse x which equal to 1 by 1 plus x square and cot inverse x which equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x square. Now, what is the now we will be move to the next fifth formula which is we know that derivative of I can say sec inverse x, sec inverse x which equal to 1 by square modulus of x square minus 1 ka square root. And sixth formula that is derivative of cosec inverse x that is I can say derivative of cosec inverse x which is equal to I can say minus 1 by square modulus x x square minus 1 ka square root. These are the six very important inverse trigonometric function formula. Right now we will be discuss how exactly we use this formula in different situation. We can say we can say to solve different problem on trigonometric. See the next problem which equal to y equal to sin into 2 sin inverse x. Suppose y equal to sin 2 sin inverse x. That means suppose y equal to sin into 2 sin inverse x. Okay. Then here the function is sin inverse x and previously it was only sin x. Here we inverse trigonometric function. So when talking inverse trigonometric function, we must have to remember, we must have to use the inverse trigonometric function formula. So what will be the value of, the question is what is the value of dy by dx. Now dy by dx which is equal to I can write sin, I can say sin, suppose this is theta, okay. Suppose this is theta I have taken sin 2 sin inverse x equal to theta. Sin theta ka jo derivative we know that cos theta. I can write cos 2 sin inverse x into derivative of derivative of 2 sin inverse x. Now which is equal to 2 sin inverse x into cos x derivative of 2 sin inverse x which equal to 2 by sin inverse x we know that sin inverse formula that is 1 by 1 minus x square ka square root. So I can write 2 into 2 which equal to 4 sin inverse x into cos x divided by 1 minus x square ka square root. This is the we can when y equal to when y equal to sin of 2 sin inverse x dy by dx which is equal to 4 into sin inverse x into cos x by square root of 1 minus x square. Okay. Now we will be suppose take the second, second we can say second problem based on inverse trigonometry function. Let take an example the y equal to cos inverse 2x by 1 plus x square. That means I have taken here 
y equal to y equal to cos inverse 2 x by 1 plus x square. Right now, we will we'll going to find out derivative of cos inverse 2 x by 1 plus x square. That means, we are going to find out dy by dx. What will be the value of dy by dx? Let here what will we do? Here we will be take suppose x equal to tan theta. Suppose I have taken. Why I have taken? In order to get a formula or we can say in order to find out a proper formula, we have taken x equal to tan theta. So, now what will be happen here? Suppose y equal to cos inverse 2x by x square, I can write y equal to cos inverse 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta. Okay. 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta because in place of x I have taken tan theta. So, now what will be fine cos inverse 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square which is nothing but sin 2 theta. When talking about sin 2 theta I can write cos inverse cos inverse pi by 2 cos inverse cos pi by 2 minus 2 theta. So, here I can write cos inverse cos of pi by 2 minus 2 theta which equal to pi by 2 minus 2 theta. I can write pi by 2 minus 2 if x equal to 10 theta, theta equal to 10 inverse x, 10 inverse x. So, I can write now we will be take dy by dx dy by dx which equal to you know pi by 2 equal to 0 we already know and I have written minus 2 that is nothing but derivative of derivative of minus 2 tan inverse x which is equal to I can write minus 2 divided by tan inverse x ka jo formula hai which equal to 1 plus x square. So, I can say if y equal to cos inverse 2x by 1 plus x square, then dy by dx which is equal to I can say nothing but minus 2 by 1 plus x square. That means, this is the way to find out the derivative of a inverse trigonometric function. Okay. Right now, we will be move to the next part which is very important that is I can say that is second order derivative of trigonometric function. What do you mean by second order derivative? Suppose y is given, y is given that sin x, y equal to sin x. Second order derivative, second order derivative, the very important thing is when talking about second order derivative, do bar derivative nikal hai. Suppose y equal to sin x, first we have to find dy by dx. dy by dx that value equal to you know that cos x. Second order derivative means d square y by dx square. That means I can say d of dx of dy by dx which is equal to I can say d square y by dx square which is equal to I can say derivative of do bar derivative can I cos x which equal to minus sin x. Because cos x ka derivative minus sin x. So, when y equal to sin x then d square y by dx square that is the very important thing that is very important part is here d square y by dx square which equal to we have get minus sin x. This is known as second order derivative of sin x. Agar y equal to sin x, unka second order derivative hoga minus sin x. Very simple, do bar derivative nikal hai. First dy by dx nikal hai, then we will be find out d square y by dx. Another example that is y equal to x cos x. That is very simple learner, suppose y equal to x cos x. We are going to find out second order derivative. When talking about second order derivative, we are going to find out d square y by dx square. That value we are going to find out. You know that y equal to x cos x, first we have to find out dy by dx. dy by dx ka matlab first into derivative of second that is first cos x ka derivative minus sin x 
first into derivative of second plus second into derivative of first one. Now, you will be get that is minus x sin x plus cos x. Okay. This is the dy by dx. Now, we are going to find d square y by dx square. That means, d of dx of minus x sin x plus cos x. Okay. Now, what will you do? Derivative of first minus x sin x, I can say plus derivative of cos x, because just by using the sum rule, we have find that split, we can split the totality. So, here we will get derivative of that is first into derivative of sin x ka value cos x plus you know that sin x, sin x and that value equal to minus 1, x ka derivative minus 1 and cos x ka derivative you will find that is cos x that is which equal to minus sin x. Now, result will be get minus x cos x plus minus sin x. So, I can write minus x cos x minus sin x minus sin x cos x ka derivative minus sin x. Okay. Now, what will you find? Here we can I can write minus 1 then you will find x cos x plus sin x plus sin x. Okay. So, result will be get that is minus 1 into x cos x x cos x minus that is sin x plus sin x which equal to plus 2 sin x. Dear learner, this is the way to find out the second order derivative. And dear learners, we have discussed about how to find out the derivative of trigonometry functions. I hope that you have enjoyed learning with me and I, I, you must have to always go through our textbook and you must have to log in www.nis.ac.in. Also, you have regularly watched our live program that is coming your e-vidya channel number 12. Thank you learners. Thank you.